episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron as Nationalist China. And this is going to be a more of a, how to put it, a more interesting episode. I don't really know what the correct name for it would be, but pretty much this is a, I guess, announcement slash Let's Play video. Um, basically, I have an announcement that this is the... I, I've decided that this is going to be the last video of the series. My reason being is that... Not that I don't think that we couldn't do some great things with this idea as... China with a huge manpower pool. But... More along the lines of... I'm trying to think of uh, how to put it correctly. Basically, I guess the best way to explain it would be to kind of explain how this wor uh, worked out. So basically, once I got the game, I started recording and I wanted to do China because I saw people doing everything in Europe. They were doing the UK, Germany, uh, Spain, Italy, all that jazz. And of course, uh, even some people doing the US. But... I didn't really see anyone do China. I've done, uh, I've seen people do Japan, but not really China. And I thought, hey, you know, it'd be a pretty cool idea to do uh, China. And let's just, you know, have fun with it, see how far we can go. Well, we survived the initial, uh, what I thought would be an onslaught of our people. And I did all that when the game first came out. Now it's been a while since the game's come out, and I've learned so much more knowledge, and I think I would much rather, if I continue to play this game, I would much rather do it on a separate uh, game, so that way I can implement a lot more of my knowledge, and I don't have to worry about really all the mistakes that I made early games such as when we ran into the zero manpower problem for the longest time that that was a little embarrassing um what was I gonna say oh yeah one thing that I did do off camera that I did want to show you guys is that we did get our paratroopers we have 10 divisions right here um I gave them the best general that we have and I am going to prep a naval invasion from here. Uh, actually, let's put some uh, some of those uh, transport planes here. That will be nice. And once they get there, we will prep a invasion of mainland Japan. Do I think it'll work? Hell if I know. But it'll be fun to try, and since it's the last episode of the series, I figured why not. But that also gives me time to talk about other things such as, well, where's the channel going to head after this? You know, what are we going to do? Um, all that sort of jazz. And I'm still going to be playing military strategy games, so don't worry about that. Greece joined the Allies. Italy declared war on Greece. But... I feel like I'll either continue to play um, Hearts of Iron 4, or I'll play Europa Universalis 4, or I'll play a Total War game. I might jump into some uh, RPG games. Really, uh, it's up in the air right now, but I will be getting that content to you sooner rather than later. As far as doing two uh, series at once, I do not know. Um, it really depends on if my schedule will allow for that. Are the planes there yet? Yes, they are. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to plan a naval, or not a na naval, a uh, pair drop from here. Can I actually not reach? I can reach here. But I don't want to reach here. Do I actually have to... What am I... Do I actually have to build a airfield like along the coast here? How long would that take? Airbase. That 
would not take long at all, actually. So let's, like, build an airbase right here. Yeah, that, that, that would be preferred. Put that to the top. And when will it be done? On this month, actually. Wow. Yes, we will sign, sign the uh, non-aggression pack. You guys do not have orders, so that is fine. We're going to wait for those um, that airbase to be uh, built. And then we'll use that instead because we should be able to hop from here to over here fairly uh, safely. We do have other planes here. We have fighters. Would they... I don't think they can actually reach there, can they? No. They can go there. Can they go here? No. Um, okay, uh, forget your orders here. Don't want you to commit to that. We'll probably end up moving everything over here and, like, try to get air superiority and whatnot. Um, Soviet Union and Soviet Union need to kind of deliver what's promised. If not, what I'll do is I'll just say, forget you. Well, actually, no, I won't do that because what I wanted was the idea that I could land trade with them. Now I didn't have to worry about them sinking my convoys. I believe that's how it works. I believe if you have a uh, land, uh, like a land border with them, you can just trade via land instead of having to send out convoys. Because we are not going to be able to um, do any naval trading with Japan right next to us. But yeah, um, if you have uh, any suggestions as a nation that you would like me to play, I am up for it as long as it's not uh, a re like near impossible challenge. Um, I did try a challenge where it was like play as Ethiopia and try to own all of Africa, but I couldn't do it via faction. I had to do it um, like direct control. So, that's pretty tricky because I I can survive it, uh, from Italy, like, right off the bat. It's just getting the rest of Africa is, um, a little tricky. Mainly because it's like, well, you want the allies because they can help you defeat Italy. But at the same time, you don't want the allies because they will control all of Africa and you can't really control Africa directly if uh, your allies have it so an interesting uh, challenge nonetheless but um yeah if you have any suggestions on you know which nation you would like me to play uh, I'm more than uh, I'm more than up to uh, take on some uh, requests if not then that's not a problem at all I can always uh, find another game to uh, try to dabble in a little bit so we're in 1942. We could get the uh, better artillery. We could get the better entrenchment, which would probably be very good. Uh, do we have... We actually do want the support weapons for the um, increased defense and whatnot. I find that to be uh, very helpful. So where is the air base going to be? Unless I've built the wrong building on accident, which that would be... Here it is. Right here. 400 planes. Easy peasy. Uh, let's see. We actually could probably upgrade it some more. Just to hold a little bit more of, a, of an air wing there. And we will actually just move everything to South Korea. And they are here. 
And now we will prep a pair drop from here. And now we can land over here. I do prefer landing in the uh, north because I find that they usually don't defend the north as much as they do the south. Mainly because most of their cities are in the south. But what I would like to do is I would like to find a naval port. And it looks like the only naval ports are probably going to be uh, in their major cities, unfortunately. Well, we could go here. That This is always an option. This is not a major city. They probably will still have it um, guarded, but um, maybe not as heavily. So I'm going to go here. And we have everyone attached to it. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll let the clock play out a little bit. Let the uh, base develop some more. Then we will move all of the 500 and almost 600 planes down here once it's upgraded a little bit more. And we'll try to get air superiority as well to uh, help out the uh, troops. But yeah, um, as far as this um, series goes... I'm not opposed to even uh, replaying as uh, Nationalist China, but I do know that I would want to take it a different way. Uh, playing the Soviet Union could be fun. Playing Germany is fun. UK, Spain, um, Italy, France. Uh, I actually had a game where I was playing France and I took over all of Germany and I was about to take over Italy. And it was going to be really cool because I was going to be able to end the war, but then Japan jumped in and... Now I had to go take over Japan. But um, I wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that. I wouldn't be opposed to doing something in the Americas. The, you know, there, there's a bunch of uh, fun ideas I could definitely uh, probably do. And then, of course, there's always other games like uh, Crusader Kings 2, Europa Universalis 4. As I've said before, you know, a whole bunch of options, really. All right, we got that technology done. We can now move on to uh, it's 42. We can't move down to this stuff. What about we could get better encryption. Uh, I think I'll do that. 80 days, not that bad. Um, there are actually some mods that I have been looking at for this game that are kind of a... Uh, a little bit of a, I, w I don't want to say a complete overhaul, but they uh, definitely do change up the uh, system a little bit. That I might consider doing uh, something like that in the future. But I will say overall, I, I do think that this um, campaign was uh, a success. All right, it says still max planning, plan preparation, attack bonus. Um, well, they're not preparing, so I don't know if they can prepare for airdrops. I'm not really proficient in airdrops, so. All right, um, what else can we do? Uh, we can, we got all this done. We could do secret weapons, nuclear effort. Might do this. And how's the airbase looking? Oh yeah, we could definitely hold the planes now. So let's move all of you guys over here. Move that down, bring that up. These guys are standing by. I want you guys to go over the homeland. And I would like to do... I could do kamikaze strikes, but I'll do air superiority. And how many fighters do we know they have? They have 300 active fighters. We have 600 and some. And I want to execute the plan. Let's uh, see how it works. This will either be very cool or very uh, embarrassing. And we actually landed without any type of uh, problems at all. Now what I want to do is see if I can cheese the system a little bit. And 
give you guys a different leader, a field marshal. And then I want to assign all of you guys to him. And then I want to assign all of these guys to this. And they should automatically get on boats and come over here. Because there is, yeah, there is technically a front line. And will the troops actually die? I believe they will. If not, it's fine. They might get away. Uh, they want to send us 18 divisions. You know what? Sure, I'll take these 18 divisions, these proud 18 divisions, and I'll send them right over here. No skin off my back. But I do remember doing this as, and I forget who I was, but um, I remember doing that as, I might have been Russia actually, but uh, or the Soviet Union, my bad. But um, it, it's a little kind of a cheap way to get by the, uh, yeah, I lost some convoys there. Luckily we had plenty of convoys, but uh, doesn't always mean we have all of the men. All right, we could do this again. I want to upgrade this. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they are. Um, we we are getting some men across, but the uh, the troops are getting uh, kind of slaughtered on the way here. How are they looking on divisions? We definitely have more than them, but we're not going to be able to land all of them. Now, I want these 10 paratroopers to go back to being in their own division with the best guy that I have. And you are going to have the front line of here. And the offensive line of taking this foothold. You guys... Well... Minus these guys. We'll come over here. I'll give you the other general, the hill fighter. And I want you guys to have the front line of here again and the offensive line to go and take Tokyo. Yes, yes, I know. Troops got killed. Not a good time for us. Lots and lots of death. But, uh, as you can see, the strategy does kind of work. Um, we do need to get the morale back. Don't know how likely that's going to be, but we can probably speed that up. Speed 5. How many is it just yeah they have a whole bunch of and uh well no that's us they actually don't have as uh, many I was about to say they have 23 troops oh my god no oh no that wait did they kill anyone yeah they did they uh they actually managed to uh, get our morale all the way to zero wow which is okay by me because like I said this is the last episode I just wanted to try it and see if it would work but um, that's actually very funny. Let's go and look at the... Uh... And somehow yet we still have way more men than they do. Pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, these troops are going back. But luckily, um, it is coming up on the 20 minute mark. So um, that was definitely a failed attempt. But there is a little kind of a, <clears throat> a cheesy way to... Uh, Kind of get your troops on the uh, all the, your troops on the island without planning the uh, necessary naval invasion. It works a lot better if uh, you catch your enemy by surprise and like they don't have any troops, and you can kind of establish a little front line, recover some morale without being constantly attacked, and uh, get stacked wiped like that. Anyways, thank you all for watching so much. Leave comments down below, please, 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 on what you would like to see in the future. 
doesn't mean I'll necessarily do it, but I will take it into heavy consideration. And thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, just leave a comments down below of what you would like to see, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.